Alrighty, Patriots, let's finish up with uh, assignment 14.2. So on question 21, we are going to need to change the instructions a little bit. Uh, I didn't make this, but you know, I, I really appreciate what somebody did, but let's change what it says. So the table below, first off, we need to make that say below, reflects the distribution of final grades for 25 students in an Algebra 1 class. What are the odds that a randomly selected student has a grade between D and B inclusive? So we don't want odds. So let's get rid of this. Odds is not what we're finding. We're finding probability. Probability and odds are calculated two different ways. So we are doing probability. So what is the probability that a randomly selected grade, a student has a grade between D and B inclusive? So to find the probability that our grade is going to be greater than or equal to D, but smaller than or equal to B. So that's going to be the number of D's, C's, and B's divided by the total number of grades. So you need to ask, all right, so there were how many D's, how many C's, how many B's? So that's going to be 2 plus 4 plus 10 divided by the number of grades. Well, right here they said it's 25 students, so I don't need to add it up because every student got a grade. Okay? Or you could go 2, 4, 8, 18, 25. All right, I will let you finish this up and then select the right answer. I just wanted to go over and change the instructions and show you how to set it up. You are randomly picking a number between 1 and 20 inclusive. What is the probability you select a number that is a factor of 12? When I ask for a factor of 12, I want to know what two numbers multiply to give me 12. All right, those would be the factors of 12. So what numbers, two numbers, take two at a time, multiply to give me 12? Well, that's going to be 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 6 is also 12. And 3 times 4 is 12. So my, f and then I can stop at the 4 because if I do 4 times 3, it's those numbers again. So you can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 factors of 12. So what is the probability that x is a factor of 12. Well, that's going to be the number of factors divided by the number of numbers. The number of factors divided by the number of numbers, and then select the right answers. Boom. So 23 should not provide you any issues, nor should 24. Alrighty, so go ahead and get these questions answered, and then put those answers into student view and see how you did.